hello there welcome back to my youtube channel and yet it's another video where we're going to look at the bags we are not moving out yet we are not traveling yet but it's a folding clothes day and we have a lot of clothes look at all these clothes all these clothes need to be placed in uh, the respective places they need to be folded well so that the house looks neat i just noticed that even if you have a clean house and the clothes are not folded it doesn't seem clean all these they need to be folded so today i'm so motivated after watching another video of uh, organizing clothes organization and uh, i'm ready to do this so i'm going to put the clothes that we don't normally use or the ones that are not in use so much so that i can get proper storage for them in these bags so <clears throat> i'm going to start with my son's clothes I've, i i always don't mix the clothes so even when doing the laundry sometimes i have my laundry days in a week i'm going to film a video for laundry so i have some folding days there's a day i fold my son's clothes there's a day i wash them particularly that day is for washing his clothes and the other day the other fold the other washing day is for our clothes so i do them separately and also the folding i do it separate so, so that means we're going to have a part b of this folding and organization uh vlog so this one is for folding my son's clothes so i'm going to put place them in this bag the ones that he do, does not normally use and there is power in decluttering if you don't necessarily use something you should decluttering it and i did by example i'm going to give out some things like this jacket my son was given by my aunt i can't give to this one out i'm just a holder of some gifts if you give me something i don't give it out but if i have bought something and i feel i should give it out i do so this one remains because it was a gift but if i have i had bought something like some of the clothes that i bought and they are so small to him so those ones i'm going to give them to someone that is how i do it so they spy in the cratering so that your house looks neat you don't get to get the clothes everywhere or you have so much clothes and maybe you have a limited space like me i don't really have a lot of space so what i do i every time i stay for a, a period of time i declutter the clothes i just remain with the ones that we commonly use the rest if it's maybe they are too small or sometimes you may get that you had bought something it's bigger than maybe the, the maybe i buy something and it's bigger for my son he cannot wear it at that time i i just give it gift it out god provides so that's my belief like this suit it is so small for, to him so i'm going to give it to someone it has a sweater a trouser a cape and also some pair a pair of socks i'm going to gift them to someone it's small he cannot wear these anymore so instead of keeping it and uh, getting for it a lot of storage which i don't have i'm going to gift it out to someone so the folding uh, the folding this folding vlog is an inspiration from a video that i had watched in netflix i am going to link i'm going to link uh you're going to see it in my description of the video and like this this top i'm folding and a blazer it's small to him so i'm going to gift these ones all these small clothes i'm going to gift them out and some blankets this guy has a lot of blankets i'm going to also gift them out so that i get a good organization of the house so the house looks organized so i was saying 
I watched a Netflix series of organization. Uh, she's called. Um, is it? Do we pronounce it Mary or Mary? Mary, Mary. I'm going to confirm and then I'm going to to link it. So like this baby carrier. Okay, this baby carrier. I'm a holder, but this baby carrier. I'm going to gift it to someone special. And. I know she's going to watch this video, maybe later, and I just want you to know that you're so special. I am going to give it to someone special, a person who is so close to me. I'm going to give that one. So this sweater, it's so warm. I had gotten it from my clothes line. Yeah, there's a time I owned a clothes line, a baby's clothes line, and I got this jackets there are two of them i usually like to uh, carry them when we are going home where we live in our village the climate is so cold so i like carrying them because they are so warm <clears throat> so if you've not watched that video i'm going to make sure that i put it in my description box you can go and watch it it was a, a qa it was a, a get to know me series where i was answering some questions and it's a nice video you can go and watch it i'm going to make sure that i put it in my description so these are some of the blankets i noticed that if i press them in this bag then i'm not going to get enough storage for my clothes so i thought i should press them to press uh, i should put them uh, somewhere different there are so many the blankets are so many and i no longer use them He's big now. He's not being carried most of the time. He likes walking. So, I'm going to gift. I'm going to sort them out and gift gift out some even if I'm not going to gift all of them. But most of them I'm going to gift them out. Most of them they they look new. They're not bad. They look new. I had so many. So, when you have so many they don't and they don't get torn uh, most of the time so this is the other jacket that i got from my clothes right that time i was uh, selling the baby's clothes they are so warm these jackets are so warm <clears throat> they are good for cold seasons so folding of clothes not many people like folding clothes because uh, it is really time consuming and you get that you just wash and then you come and fold you're doing nothing sometimes some people are going to move their clothes there's a time by the way there's a time i used to move their clothes from the seat i put them on my bed i remove them from my bed at night i put them on my seat until <laughs> the time that i will get free time to fold them but nowadays i'm really inspired once I wash them, I just press them on this seat and then I will come and fold them, put them in their respective places. And actually, I don't usually look at that. This is how I fold the clothes. I even got a method of folding them so that they don't, they, they, they are not going to use a lot of space. And you can fold, you can see I've added another layer. And even the bag can close so easily. It is safe to cross the bag. It can't get torn because it's not so full. So these are the blankets. You can see. And these are not all. I have another bunch like this one. These are the clothes that he usually uses. So these ones I'm going to press them on a shelf. And then the ones on the bag I'm going to press them somewhere different. But these ones I'm going to press them in this shelf which is easily accessible this shelf i had made it from i got the idea from pinterest i'm going to showcase it one day i just got the idea from pinterest and i did it i made this thing which is so good it helps me in organization of the clothes see you when you see me in my next video bye